What's up guys? So I had to do some texture matching on this knockdown today. And when I got to my shop this morning, I couldn't find the nozzle that I need for knockdown. I had my orange peel nozzle, but I ran around to a couple places, couldn't find one. So I opened up YouTube like I normally do and looked up little tips. And uh, I found something that I'm gonna give a shot right now to. And uh, basically just applying regular joint compound with a sea sponge, um, you're supposedly able to match this texture. So gotta wait about 10 minutes for it to set up a little bit and then we're gonna try and knock it down. Let's see how it comes up. You know what guys, I'm actually very surprised at how well this is working. That is amazing. So you just got your regular knockdown knife. You drag that across. Now we got the texture here and the texture here. It's pretty similar and you can fine tune this. But damn, yeah. I'll, uh, I'll post some finished photos when we're done painting, but I think this is gonna blend really well. All right, great tip. Thanks YouTube. That's how I learned how to become a contractor. See you later. All right guys, I actually wanna do one more quick little video uh, at the end here to show you how this stuff turned out everywhere. I gotta turn the light on, but the light is connected to the fan right now and it's really loud. So I'm just gonna do a little intro here. Um, we hit this area uh, around the vanity above the mirror where the old sconce used to be and that spot right there. And then we did this whole wall um, up here. So basically everywhere that I had to do any repair work. And um, once I turn this light on, I think you guys are gonna be pretty impressed with this. That right there, it's not a perfect match, but it's really hard to get a perfect match. But I think that this wall here gives you a really good idea. And obviously I gotta see what this looks like painted, but I'm really happy with the overall outcome because you got this knockdown right here and that knockdown right there. I'm, just, I'm definitely using this method. I'm gonna leave the compressor and all that stuff at home. This is a good shot. Right there. Oh, there we go. There. That's probably a better shot. I mean, blending is so difficult, especially when they come in here and they just spray the whole thing. Each person has their own method. Of, uh, of doing texture. This guy's really globby. Like he didn't really knock this stuff down. So matching that is really not gonna be possible. But blending is, um, is really about making it sort of disappear because you know certain areas of one wall are different than another. So what I'll do is, see like this right here, this ceiling looks a lot like the work that I just did. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna paint, I'm gonna look for any um, blending issues, and then worst case scenario, I can actually blend in between and, uh, and sort of feather the texture in, if that's a word or a term. But yeah, I can't believe it. This thing, this method worked out way better than expected. Simple sea sponge, I watered down um, this compound just a little bit but yeah I'm gonna do this every time for repairs obviously if you're spraying a whole room spray it with the uh, the hopper but yeah. well let me know what you guys think I'm sure there's gonna be some douchebag in the comments that's like looks like shit wait till it's painted fucker all right well we'll see you later and uh, I'll show you guys some finished uh, product in, um, in a day or two Thanks. Thanks for watching. By the way, love this fucking mirror.